So now from time to time I'm going to want to connect these batteries in series. If we're going to make a uh, permanent uh, connection then we want to make sure that they are uh, perfectly equal in every way. The charge to the same voltage, uh, probably uh, completely uh, charged and the same age and everything have been used the same and everything but uh, you can also connect them uh, just temporarily. So we're going to make a uh, connector here where we can do that whenever we want. So that's about the distance uh, that should work. This wire looks like it's gonna hold its shape pretty well. And uh, if it did flop out, it wouldn't uh, connect one of the other terminals there. This tool has a wire cutter right there. We want about the same distance right there. Better go a little bit more than a little bit less. And then we need to strip the wire, which this has. I should be able to set it to the shortest setting, which actually may be even a little bit too long, but it will be okay for this video. And uh, again, we'll do it. I'll leave a little space from the tongue. I didn't have it lined up. There we go. Now it's lined up and it rips the insulation right off. These uh, lower capacity batteries, these are seven amp hour batteries and the uh, 10 amp hour batteries I see have uh, the male spade. So this is a, a female spade connector right there. I'm using 16 American wire gauge. So that is the largest wire that will be used for this when you have a red body right there. So now here is a uh, female spade connector. The spade just slides right in there. Um, I also have these, this is in a different kit or I actually grabbed that one too, but I notice I have ones that are insulated around them. Since these are battery terminals, this would be the better option, so I'm gonna use these instead. So now we got the uh, crimping tool around it. You can see the red dot for red right there. I'm not sure exactly where I should set this, but if you look at this, you would set it so right at the edge there would be that plastic insulation because that's where the uh, wire is, um, where the uh, metal, I mean, is that it's going to crimp on there. It's uh, round. And so when I line this one up here, it looks like, uh, you know, maybe uh, leave a little bit of plastic insulation out. So I have that there. But anyways, I'm just using hand pressure to hold this. The red dot is on the side where you insert the wire. So now we'll look from this angle. I would uh, spin these a little more if I had a free hand uh, just to make sure they go straight through. Um, but they did pretty good right there. So we want to, uh, I think, no, nope, we caught a little bit. So let's uh, try spinning this as I insert it. It's not going into the hole. It's a little tricky. And uh, I'm going to spin the wires first. So all I'm doing is spinning this like that while I hold them. We're not uh, really uh, winding them up, just uh, getting them kind of spiraled and uh, close together right there. All right, so let's try this again. And first, let's see if I can just put it uh, straight through. And uh, I feel where the hole is. There we go. It actually uh, went through and it stopped where uh, the insulation is finally wide enough. This is the end where I want that other one. I'll show you why in a little bit. I just squeeze as hard as I can. It has crimping action. As soon as you are done, this one's really uh, difficult. There we go. As soon as you get to the end, it will open back up. So now again, I have uh, this one in here. The uh, opening's on top there. So is the uh, more of the opening in the little tube that we're actually uh, crimping. Uh, about the same distance now so I want uh, this one to be upside down as well uh, facing the same way and now I swivel it this way and uh, we'll insert that in there and that's one reason why I did uh, this one first because otherwise it would be pushing on the tool the way that uh, we were showing it there so I'll uh, crimp this again this one's harder than uh, most of them make sure I got it all the way and we are done so this is kind of stuck in there a little bit you can just kind of work your way out not too bad and uh, that went okay so let's uh, do the pull test it should not uh, pop off and uh, they're held uh, pretty strong there there's also a, a little uh, dot on uh, one end right there so you should be able to see that dot that's another good sign that you got a good crimp so now the first time you put these female spade connectors onto a ma uh, male spade connector, you kind of got to wiggle them back and forth and keep uh, walking your way there. Finally, it will uh, get going, as you can see there. Um, you don't want to really just kind of shove them on there. You might damage them. Um, so they don't slide on uh, perfectly easily. Um, next time you do, uh, they should be better. So we could do them both at the same time or one at the time right there. But uh, there you can see. They at least uh, line up really well there and 
Now I'm going to actually try to push it uh, forward. And uh, we got that uh, most of the way on there, all the way on there. And now you can see we are uh, covering up almost all of the metal. So this is gonna be a lot uh, safer connection. There's a little bit of metal showing on the back, but uh, when we just have this spade connector, then we have all this other metal here where something could fall onto it. So now just for uh, those who uh, don't know why you would wanna put batteries in series. So these are 12.8 uh, volt uh, batteries. They're lithium iron phosphate. When they are more charged, they have a slightly higher voltage uh, right there. And you even charge them at an even higher uh, voltage. But they're pretty close to the same voltage. So um, probably wasn't a bad time to put them in series if we were going to do so permanently. You would want to just fully charge them though. That's uh, better. But in case we saw the voltage is about the same for both of them. Uh, when we go here, it's about twice that voltage. That is the thing. It's adding up their voltages. And uh, so you have now, we can put a load across here. It'll have a higher uh, voltage that it can... Uh, that will be powering that load I should say and uh, so when you need more voltage you can just easily put batteries in series when it comes to these uh, Manufactured batteries, so they have protection circuitry in them and stuff to help protect them um, But uh, as I said before you want them to be basically exactly the same as much as you can so um, I bought these two at the exact same time and uh, they came at the same voltage which was good and uh, I charge them manually. I didn't attach a charger and then stop when it uh, turned off. Um, so one of them got charged a little differently than the other. If I was going to keep this a long-term uh, connection, I would have charged them fully with the charger ahead of time. And when it was done, then I would have connected them in series. Um, but uh, usually if you have the same manufacturer, same bat well, it's got to be the same battery size, the same amp hours when they are in a series. Usually uh, the manufacturers say you can connect like four of them in series or you could connect uh, four of them in parallel. They got to be the exact same voltage before you connect them in parallel. Um, and uh, I think you can also do four series, four parallel. Um, but in any case, read what the manufacturer says about connecting them in series and parallel. Ultimately, um, you're just better off if uh, you know ahead of time exactly the voltage and capacity you want you're best off just buying a single battery that meets that. They do sell these in the higher voltage uh, batteries. Um, but uh, you can also, if you already have these available, just connect them in series or parallel to get the voltage or capacity you want.